Hello and welcome to this episode of Let's Rap. We talking about a good subject. Before we get started, I always want to introduce my girls. So I am Derek Carr, your host. And then we have my beautiful co-host, Lisa Crutcher Thurman. And then, of course, mm-hmm. Ebony Ingram Jones is joining us today. Uh, and today we are talking about your word mm-hmm. and the power wow. of your word. And uh, so let's rap. Uh, my dad, funny story. When I was younger, one of the things that I can always say that he instilled in me is don't say nothing you're not going to do. Mm-hmm. If you tell somebody you're going to do something, do it. Mm-hmm. Um, and then, even back in the days, people didn't really have a lot of money. They bartered. Mm-hmm. So they traded. Your word but your word was, was bought. Yes. And they had verbal agreements all the time. Mm-hmm. And he said, but you gave me your word. Yeah. And it's like, when did we get away from, from that? that when do we get away from that? That your word is more powerful mm-hmm. than your money, than anything else. You should never say something that you're not going to do. Your word is your reputation. Yes, it is. It's your brand. Mm-hmm. It's who you are. Yes. It's supposed to line up with who you are, <laughs> your word. Um, so Dean Del uh, Sesto, he, he, that's my boy. I love reading his <laughs> stuff. He has so many books that are just a blessing and help me. So in one of his books, he said, many claim to have character when at best they have circum- circum- circumstantial integrity. Mm. So it ain't got character. You just saying stuff. You, you start saying stuff that you think people want to hear. Just like if you tell somebody you're going to do something. And he, now, don't get me wrong. Life happens. But if sure. you say you're going to do something, you can't call them and tell mm-hmm. them. You know, don't be that person that just doesn't show up. You know, don't be that person that doesn't show up for somebody else. Keep your word. And not only that, I think what he, what is good about what he's saying is, you'll keep your word when it's convenient. Yeah, there you go. But if it's, yes. if it's an inconvenience to you, or if you feel like you change the way you feel about it, then you feel like you don't have to honor your word. Well, that's not, that's not what we talk, what we're no. talking about when it calls, no. when you're talking about integrity, you what you have is circumstantial integrity Absolutely. which is not really integrity at all because it doesn't come at any type of cost to yeah. you so yep. yeah that's important that's a good point mm-hmm. Dude, that's why you a lawyer <laughs> why that is a very good point it's and that's great. why it is circumstantial that's making uh-huh. the difference because it's when it's convenient for you mm-hmm. so you go you only go your word when it doesn't hurt absolutely you know because wow. sometimes your word you don't feel like mm-hmm. doing it. it's been plenty of times i've even volunteered here at the and church. don't Listen. And didn't want to do it, but then I came. If Think about I how, said I was gonna yeah, do, I it. Gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Just like when Angela be harassing me about oh, recording. Yes. She's a harasser. <laughs> she's a harasser. Yeah, she's a harasser. <laughs> no, she's but not. you give your you give your word. You give people your word. You have to stick <laughs> with your word. You have to. So let's see what the word says about your word. Your word. Okay. So James five and twelve. But above all, my brothers, do not swear either by heaven or by any other oath but let your yes be yes, yes and let yes, your no be no, be no wow. so that you may not fall under con- a condemnation mm-hmm. so my mother you say it all the time and i said girl what are you talking about she said let your yes be yes and your, and no your no's be, be no. no when you tell somebody you're going to do something you say yes then you do it mm-hmm. but if you tell them if they t- ask you to do something you can't do it, just say no mm-hmm. anything else is outside the scope wow. just keep your word mm-hmm. And I used to, I mean, I heard it all the time, but you know how you hear something, but when you get older, you, you understand say, oh, it. You say, yes. You know, so yeah, let your yes be yes, and your mm-hmm. nose be no. That's to you, Rosie Carr, because that's what she <laughs> said all the time. <laughs> let your yes be yes, and let your nose be no. Uh, other Matthew 5, 33 and 37. So let's see what he said about it. Again, you have heard that it was said to these of old, you shall not swear falsely, but shall perform to the Lord what you have sworn. But I say to you, do not take an oath at all, Mm -hmm. either by heaven, for it is the throne of God, or by the earth, for it is the footstool, or by Jerusalem, for it is the city of the great king. And do not take an oath by your head, for you cannot make one hair Mm -hmm. white or black. Mm -hmm. Let what your let let what you say be simply yes or no. Mm-hmm. Anything more than that wow. comes from evil. Mm-hmm. So that what that is saying is either you're gonna do what you say you're gonna do, or anything other than that is evil. Mm-hmm. Just don't do what you say you're gonna do. That's it. Integrity is not installed in our being when we become Christians. Salvation is. Mm-hmm. But as for integrity, that's not a one-time installation, but a never-ending wow. activation. Wow. You have to continue to work mm-hmm. on your integrity daily, mm-hmm. every minute. You have to be 
you have to it's something you have to walk in mm -hmm. you have to walk in integrity and let your word be your word mm -hmm. again that was from my boy dean del sesto he's a bad dude <laughs> mm -hmm. um keeping your word is more important mm -hmm. um when you give your word but fail to follow through and fail to contact those who have uh -oh. given you uh -oh. given your word to then you break trust mm. now we know when you break trust with somebody you kind of fall in a in a pattern like right. they don't believe nothing mm -hmm. you say they stop asking mm -hmm. you yeah and then you know you just use trust yeah think about how god feels though mm. uh -oh. how many times do we do that to him to be saved by christ means to give your word to him to surrender to him mm -hmm. your word matters when you come to christ you commit all that is you to all that is he mm. and he promises to never leave you nor forsake you he wow. promised eternal life wow. he promises undying love he promises to be with you are you with him mm. so when we give him our word when we tell the man that we want to join church that we want to be a christian that we want to be saved are you 100 percent sold out to the fact mm -hmm. that you are with christ for the rest of your life and then you plan on being in eternity with him afterwards mm -hmm. what is your word what is the value of your word? Mm -hmm. Do you mean that? What does that mean to you, Lisa? Ouch. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, and I feel like um, when you're praying to God, that's you're giving them your word and you're asking. And I don't even say like you, like, okay, God, you've done so much for me. I thank you. And I know that the word says I'm to do this, that, and the other. But are you am I always the one to do it? Right. And so many things, as I'm hearing you say that now, it's going through my mind again, that, hmm, ooh. Yeah. Gotta be it working is, on some it things. Ouch. Mm -hmm. And it, again, like Dean Del Sesto said, you know, it's not a one-time installation, no, but it's a never-ending mm -hmm. activation. Daily. You have to continue to work through that. Mm -hmm. You have to continue to keep your word. It is a practice to keep your word. Yeah. It's nothing that just mm -hmm. happens. Right. You have to practice mm -hmm. to keep your word. You know, it's just like even with Christ, if you tell him that you're going to be sold out to him mm -hmm. and then you're in a crossroads and you're mm -hmm. in the middle of you got one foot in and one foot out. Mm -hmm. You know, we all are there sometimes. Make that decision mm -hmm. to go ahead like you promised him. Conti Come continuously on. remind mm -hmm. yourself of whose you are, mm -hmm. who okay. you belong to okay. and mm -hmm. what you should do as a Christian. I know it's not easy. We all do it. We mm -hmm. all have done it because, number one, we're human. All right. And we serve a God that gives us will mm -hmm. to love him. He doesn't make us. Yeah. He gave yeah. us free yeah. will. Yeah. But if you said you're going to be with him, mm -hmm. let your yes be yes and, and you know let your be no young. be no. So I'm glad you said that because your word is your bond. Yes. But your word is also a reflection on your name. Absolutely. And your name precedes you. Absolutely. It comes before mm -hmm. and it can actually frustrate the kingdom yes. yeah. you not being who you are purported to be or you supposed to be people don't want to talk to you about your Jesus no. they don't trust you with no. anything no. because you did not honor your word and you don't have a good name and that's not just on you that is a reflection on the body, body of and Christ. we've got to be intentional about maintaining our witness our word wow. and our witness that's all we got in this wow. life yeah. That's all we have is our word and our witness. Word and our witness. Don't That's let it. anything take, don't let anything jeopardize your word and your, and your witness. witness. Rev says all the time, <laughs> when you go somewhere, if you be nasty to people, don't tell them you're from Saint Yeah, Because uh -uh. right. we know that's how they equate that. Your uh -huh. behavior, your actions, what you say you're going to do, mm -hmm. they equate that with the whole church. Mm -hmm. Or I have much more careful I am when yes. I have on my St. Stephen t-shirt or something, yes. and I'm in the store and somebody may do something and I'm like, Exactly. Oh, I got on my, my Tabernacle Choir t-shirt. Let, right. me, go. <laughs> let, yeah. me, let me be cool. Let me be cool. I have on my, I love my church. Yes. Right. yes. And, and it really, represent. because, so the next thing yeah. I was going to say, does your brand match your word? Mm. Wow. Mm -hmm. Does your brand match your word? So if I'm branded as a Christian, yeah. I'm branded as mm -hmm. saved, I'm branded as trying to be better and help people do what they need to do to mm -hmm. be better then I can't go around cussing folk out. Right. I can't go around despitefully misusing mm -hmm. people. I mean, I can, I but can, it's not going to. but gonna... it's not in me. <laughs> yeah. But is that going to work right, with my right. witness? Yeah. going to destroy mm -hmm. my witness. Mm -hmm. And what we don't realize, our word is much larger than mm -hmm. just break Ooh. broken promises. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, it's yeah. much larger than that. Yeah. Because if you are Christian and you save and you, you are 
perpetuating the name of Christ mm -hmm. and you're carrying that with yeah. you every day, but then you act a fool. Mm -hmm. Are you cuss somebody out? Mm -hmm. Are you treat somebody less fortunate than you mm -hmm. worse? You know, somebody walks up, if you don't have the money to give them, I don't know, buy them a sandwich. I don't or know. Or at least what just not be rude. At least be, be sweet. Yes. You are constantly being watched. Yes. And you could be the very thing to lead somebody mm -hmm. away from Christ. Wow. Mm -hmm. Because we know it's so easy to do. Yeah. It is. And people equate so many things with church hurt, mm -hmm. church situations. Everything church, church hurts. Folks. I know if I hear that so many times, <laughs> people over there ain't saved. They don't care. All they want this. They don't care about that. And woo, 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 all yeah. this, all that. Yeah. But it's all about your word and who you mm -hmm. are. And it carries way more weight than we give it mm -hmm. attention to. So if you can do something, or you say you're going to do something, just do it. Mm -hmm. If you promise your life to God, then keep it with mm -hmm. you. Okay. You know, and work hard to try to be the person that he's called you to be. Mm -hmm. Just work hard at it. We, we human. Mm -hmm. We're going to fall short. But then when you know you did something wrong, fix it. Mm -hmm. Right. Fix it. If I say something, or I do something to somebody that I love. Everybody knows me. I joke a lot. Mm -hmm. I play a lot with people. But if I see that something I've said has affected them. Absolutely. And I go to them, mm -hmm. hey, I didn't mean it like that. Right, right. You know, yeah. I was joking. I know. I'm sorry if you had a bad day mm -hmm. or if I said something to make your day worse, mm -hmm. that was not my intent. Yeah. You know, you have to be a big enough person Absolutely. to fix those mm -hmm. things, you know, because your word is you. It's your bond. It's exactly. You. Mm -hmm. And then, like, if someone was to come and tell me, Derek said this, that, and other about you, he ain't said that. Because yeah. I know exactly. you. <laughs> and you got to know Absolutely. that people know you yes. and your character oh. and your words have always preceded you. That is so you. good you said that. Your, you being faithful yes. and having fidelity to your words yes. Yes. frustrates the bad words yes. of other people yes. about you because people say, well, that don't that line up with what I know. With anything uh -huh. I know. Exactly. So, because anybody can pretend, absolutely. but after so long, right. that's just who you are. Uh -huh. Exactly. And if I got a relationship with Ebony or Lisa mm -hmm. and somebody comes to them and say, Derek said this about you, first thing I'm thinking Thank you. Ebony gonna be, nah, nah, you didn't. No, no. because oh, the type of relationship that. we yeah. have, he would that. say it to me. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And I'm now watching you. Right. Now <laughs> he got some time Exactly. Right. But that's how important <laughs> your is. word is. It is. It it is. Your <laughs> word. Because yes. it does perceive uh -huh. you. And it really makes who you are who you are. Mm -hmm. It really does. It's all about what you say, what comes out of your mouth, how you treat people. You know, if somebody asks you to do something and you come through, then you're dependable. Absolutely. Right. right. Mm -hmm. And as Christians, we should be dependable. dependable. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yes. And we should be trustworthy. Yes. We should be those things. Mm -hmm. That's not a suggestion. No. <laughs> it's part of the Christian creed. It's what we should yes. do. It's foundational. It is mm -hmm. very foundational. I'm glad you said that because mm -hmm. you have nothing without a foundation. Yeah. So wow. it, and it doesn't take nothing just to do what you, you said, said you were. And it don't take nothing to shut your mouth. Right. Because sometimes oh. if you can't, I don't. Just, like don't, it. Say just, don't, yep. Yep. just yep. don't say anything. Just don't say it and let it, it work out. But don't let people depend on you. Yes. Like, and then you fall through. And then you fall just, through. I had like Absolutely. the biggest compliment uh, last week. Um, this uh, previous year, my I worked on the uh, our family reunion committee with my aunt and. We met two, three, sometimes four days a week. I mean, literally, because mm. I really don't know so much what I'm doing, but I was there, she was telling me, and so I'm not to be on the committee this year because I had uh, enough. <laughs> and so who she's working with this year, she called, well, I was over to the house, she's like, Lisa, I need you, I need you. She said, so mm. many, I mean, Okay, I'll do it, I'll do it. Mm -hmm. And nobody's following through. And she's wow. so frustrated. She said, I knew all last year, all I got to do is tell Lisa said she's gonna be here. She's gonna be here mm -hmm. 10 minutes before. She's gonna be here. Mm -hmm. And that was such a compliment. Although I really don't want to work on it anymore. <laughs> I, I'm gonna have to. Yeah. You, you know, I'm gonna she have to. Yeah. She needs me and, and I, I can't do it by myself. Mm -hmm. I don't know so much about it. So glad you said that mm -hmm. because your work is, even I found myself at work taking on mm. much more because people know that I'm dependable. Absolutely. So they it comes, comes with a burden. It comes with a price. It comes with a price. But how cool is that that people trust, trust you? you. Mm -hmm. How cool is that to be trusted? Mm -hmm. How cool is that to be the one that is able to do certain things because you've done it so well before? Mm -hmm. And even you might not do it well. It's just the fact that you're you there. Do, yeah, exactly. And you're mm -hmm. dependable and yeah. you're trustworthy. And if they need support, they can count mm -hmm. on you. How cool is that? Yeah. To be counted on. Mm -hmm. To be the type of person that when I leave here and my last days are gone and over, that 
my that my life has spoken mm-hmm. for me. You know, if nobody can say anything. He kept his word. word he yeah. was a man of his word. Mm-hmm. And it's about integrity. Mm-hmm. And my it, dad was so, yes, if he, he didn't teach us nothing else, that man was crazy about integrity. Yeah, it's yeah, all about yeah. integrity. He wasn't going to do anything mm-hmm. that he didn't say he was going to do. If he said it, he's, he's going to do, do it. it. I want to um, bring up somebody that we all love, and I'm going to try not to cry. Bobby Lee Ray. <laughs> yes, <Russ. laughs> Right. He, I will never forget, yes. I was moving. And everybody knows mm-hmm. moving is one of the worst things you could yes. ever have to do. Yes. Moving is awful. And when I was preparing to move, Bobby told me, well, when you move, baby, I will help you move. What well, in the meantime, between time, Bobby got sick. Yep. And Bobby got sick. I mean, it yeah. wasn't like, he no, was he sick. was sick. No. He went to the hospital and everything. No. But he got out of the hospital before I moved. And I, at that point, I didn't expect him to help because he had just gotten out of the hospital. Honey. He hmm. called me. He said, "Why well, are you moving today?" And Donald picked him up, and you know, he came. And he came and helped me. I believe it. I believe and it. And it was when I think about it now, yes, yes. because Bobby told me he was mm-hmm. gonna do something. And he did it. And he did. It. And he didn't let his circumstances Absolutely. change. Absolutely. So it wasn't circumstantial Absolutely. integrity. He did what he said mm-hmm. he was gonna do, yeah. and he did that. Mm-hmm. So that's awesome that yeah. you brought that mm-hmm. up. So a question I want to ask both of you all. <clears throat> Do I keep every commitment I make, whether large or small, or do I rest on excuses mm-hmm. as, as a means to escape my responsibility? Mm-hmm. Now, we all know those people. Mm-hmm. I even got a sister. <laughs> that just sometimes one of my sisters just, Ooh. it happens. Shut up. We gonna cut that out too. No, nah, I'm just being serious. <laughs> I mean, it's not, I'm not saying which one, but it just, it happens. Mm-hmm. And you just have to be careful on what you yeah. do. Mm-hmm. It's not about you. Mm-hmm. When you say you're gonna do something, do it. That's Absolutely. it. Absolutely. Absolutely. You, mm-hmm. you just gotta do it. You know, don't make excuses mm-hmm. because people get to a point where they're not, they don't they just don't ask you mm-hmm. no more. And then if it's not a good feeling. Yeah. Just to keep your word. Mm-hmm. I mean, I've been sick myself. Yeah. And promised somebody mm-hmm. something and did it anyway. Correct. Mm-hmm. But, but think about how so tired, we, how all tired are. we all are. Because <laughs> life can be draining, yeah. but we still do it. So it does matter. It matters in the marketplace, in the media, in the marriage. Mm. Every moment of where you are, if your word is no good, you are not good. Think about it. Think about it. And when you say you're going to do something with God and for God are in his kingdom, then you should do it. Mm -hmm. Because if you don't do it, then you're not good. Mm -hmm. You're evil. It's an evil person. (laughs) When you say you're going to do something Mm -hmm. and don't do it. Think about how kids' hearts are broken. When you tell them that Mm -hmm. they're going to do something. Are you going to do something Mm -hmm. for them? And then you don't show up. Mm -hmm. Then you don't. I mean, think about how you were. Correct. Somebody told you something as a child Mm -hmm. and how your heart was broken. Yeah and how somebody said they was going to take you somewhere or do something for you, then they don't come through. I was going to say, we don't have to say being no, a child older, even now. right now. Yes. To be disappointed is a very natural really? human yes. thing. You can be disappointed as an, a, an adult, yes. Yes. even by people who've already disappointed you before. If you want that person to, to love you mm-hmm. or to be this person in your life, you yeah. can absolutely be disappointed. Absolutely. And it's hurtful. Absolutely. So don't, you know, don't be that person to hurt people. No, and don't. You can't do it because number one, what what type of person does it make you? Mm-hmm. What does it make you? Mm-hmm. And you think about those times again. You have to walk in other people's shoes. Mm-hmm. Think about how you make the other person feel. What I have started to do is in every conversation, I try to think about what I'm about to say. How is it going to affect the other mm-hmm. person? Mm-hmm. Think about how I would feel if I said that to me. Mm-hmm. Now, I do play a lot, and I know I do. I have a lot of fun, a good time, because I know life is short, it is, and, and it's, it's good to have mm-hmm. fun and laugh, but I don't ever want to do that at the expense of, of somebody's somebody else, feelings absolutely. and somebody and treat them. And some, so I tease people that I know can take it, and I have that relationship mm-hmm. with. I don't do that with everybody. everybody. Mm-hmm. But when you really think about it, and really your word mm-hmm. is so important, and how you speak to people is so important, do what you need to do mm-hmm. to be you. That's it. Well, I thank you all so much for joining us today. Any last good words word. on keeping word. your word? Mm-hmm. Any last words? Keep your word. Keep your word. Keep your word. So we have a word of prayer. 
God, thank you for this day. Thank you for your goodness. God, help us as human beings to keep our word and let our yes be yes and let our no be no. And like Ebony said, just don't say nothing. If you know you can't do it or you know you can't make it, just surprise them and show up if you can. But just don't say, God, help us to walk in integrity, God, and to understand that we're not doing anything at convenience, but we're doing it because we made a promise. Mm -hmm. And God, help us to keep our promise, first of all, to you, to be Christians, to be better people, to love people, to treat people right, Mm -hmm. to do what it is that you would have us to do. God, thank you for this word on today. God, hide it in our hearts Mm -hmm. and bring it out in our character, in our daily walk. God, we thank you for being God. God. We thank you for your goodness, and we thank you for forgiveness and Mm -hmm. how you keep us and give us another chance. So if we had to say ouch to this <laughs> message today, then God just help us to fix mm-hmm. those things yep. and give us time to move forward to correct it. In mm-hmm. Christ Jesus name yes. we pray and it's all these things this day. Amen. Amen. Well, we thank you for joining this edition, uh, this episode of Let's Rap. We have definitely been blessed today. I don't know about you. We was talking together, but we messed around and blessed ourselves and encouraged one another because it's important for us to keep our word. So we hope you take this word understand it got any questions man hit us up on facebook tell us what you like tell us what you don't like tell us what we can do different and we'll appreciate it but remember keep watching let's rap and ssc live tv our way we do it all right ladies we out thank you